So far we have learned to design a single bit full error. A0, B0 carry in from the previous edition, A0 sum output and the carry output. Now we'll learn to design 4 bit parallel adder using full adders. Let's see what is 4 bit full adder. Suppose we have two numbers, two binary numbers A and B. In A we'll have 4 bit A0, A1, A2, A3. And in B we'll have another 4 bit B0, B1, B2, B3. So we need to design a circuit in a way whatever the numbers we give for A and B the addition will be shown as S0, S1, S2, S3 and after adding these two numbers we will have a carry out. Now we can add these two numbers using one full adder where the input carry in for the least significant bit we know that is 0 so we can make it grounded so if we give a0 b0 here we'll get a0 output and c0 as carry remember the c0 carry output is the carry input for the next addition so this c0 will go there and c0 a1 b1 should be added c0 a1 b1 for the second case they will be added we will get s1 and c1 will be our next carry output this c1 will go here so c1 a2 b2 will be added and we will get s2 and c2 carry output this c2 will be the carry in for the next adder so in order to get 4 bit full adder we need 4 full adders let's take the copy of this Placing another one here. Let us remove these notations. Now, in order to design 4 bit parallel adder, you see A0, B0 must be added. A0, B0, so we need to write A0, B0, they will be added. We'll get A0, and initially, this is the C in for the least significant bit the c in should be connected with ground because for the least significant bit we know there will be no initial carry so i'm keeping it like this whenever we'll use this circuit we'll connect this with ground so we have s0 here and carry output c0 c0 will be the carry in this is the carry output c0 will be the carry in for the next adder that's why i intentionally shorted them so this is the C0 and this is carry in for the next full adder. So C0 will be connected with the carry in of the next adder. So this will be A1, B1 and eventually we will get S1. From S1 we will get C1 here. So C1 will act as carry in for the next full adder A2, B2 and we will get S2 after adding this carry. And next we will get C2 here and C2 will act as carry in for this final full adder where we have A3, B3 and the output will be S3 and this will provide us the final carry out. So this is the design of 4 bit full adder. If we say we have a full adder circuit, 4 bit full adder circuit where we have A0, A1, A2, A3, B0, B1, B2, B3 as input, one carry in and A0, S1, S2, S3 and this will be our carry out. These are the inputs A0, A1, A2, A3, B0, B1, B2, B3. Here this is the carry in. We have S0, S1, S2, S3. These are the four summation output and final carry out will be here as output. So this can be named as 4 bit parallel adder. What we have inside this box? We have these four full adders 
inside this box and what we have inside the full adder box we already designed it we have this logic diagram inside the full adder box i hope the designing procedure is very clear to all of you now if you are asked to design 8-bit parallel adder how can you design that you can use two four bit parallel adder in order to design eight bit parallel adder in eight bit parallel adder we'll have a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 from b0 up to b7 so the result will be starting from a0 to a7 and there will be a carry out this is the design of eight bit parallel adder using two four bit parallel adder now C out of the first 4-bit parallel adder will be connected with the C in of the second 4-bit parallel adder. We have total 8-bit data in each variable A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. After adding A3 and B3, the carry out will be presented here which will act as carry in for A4, B4 in this way it will have a parallel addition finally we will get s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 s7 and c out as our summation output next we will design 4 bit subtractor using 4 bit parallel adder here we will use the concept of once complement for the subtraction operation before we go for the designing of 4 bit subtractor let me remind you the function of XOR gate. If we have XOR gate, this is the output, and we have two inputs. We know if we have zero input here, suppose I am keeping this input fixed, zero. When we are keeping this input fixed, if we provide one input here, the output will be one here if we provide zero input here the output will be zero here because for zero zero the output will be zero for one zero the output will be one we know it from the truth table of exit now here we can say if one of the inputs of the exit gate is fixed to zero then whatever input i'll give in the second input of the XOR gate then output will be the same as the second input. If it is 1, the output will be 1. If it is 0, the output will be 0. This is true for the case where one of the inputs of the XOR gate is 0. Now again, if we fix one of the input of XOR gate to 1, suppose this is fixed. So if we give 1 here, one one input of XOR gate will give us zero if we give zero here one zero input of XOR gate will give us one so we can see if we fix one of the inputs of XOR gate whatever we provide in the another input will get the inverted of that another input in the output side if we provide one we'll get zero if we provide zero we'll get one so this XOR gate will be acting as inverter or NOT gate when one of the inputs is fixed at 1. The same XOR gate will be acting as buffering circuit, which means whatever data will provide in the second input that will be appearing in the output side. Now let me remind you the process of subtracting two binary numbers using one's complement. If we have two numbers, A equals to A0, A1, A2, a3 four bit binary numbers b equals to b0 b1 b2 b3 and if you are asked to get the value of a minus b what is the procedure take the ones complement of b add that value with a if there is an end carry discard that end carry and add one with the result that will be the subtracted value of a minus b so let us follow this method using 4-bit parallel adder. We have this 4-bit parallel adder that was designed earlier. Now in order to have the subtraction operation, A0, A1, A2, A3, A0, A1, A2, A3 will be fed directly to the full adders. But for the B, we need to take the ones complement of the B in order to get the subtraction operation. So B will not be sent directly through this full adder 
will send B output through XOR gate. We have B0 and input. Now B0, B1, B2, B3 will be sent through the XOR gate and another input of XOR gates will be shorted. This is shorted, this is shorted, this is shorted. Now if we provide zero here, what will happen? One of the inputs of XOR gates will be zero. So if one of the input of XOR gate is zero, whatever data available there in B0, B1, B2, B3, that will be appearing here. So for zero input, this circuit will act as adder. For zero input, B0 will be appearing here, B1 will be appearing here, B2 will be appearing here, B3 will be appearing here, and A0, B0 will be added, we'll get S0, eventually we'll get S1, eventually we'll get S2, S3, C out, the addition value. But if we provide one here, what will happen? One of the inputs of XOR gate is provided with one. So whatever input I have here as B0, B1, B2, B3, all these inputs will be inverted and will get for one input B0 prime here, B1 prime here, B2 prime here, and B3 prime here. So we are getting one's complement of B. If we add one's complement of B with A, we'll get the subtracted value, but that is not the ultimate result. At the end, we need to add one. How to add that one? what we can do in this carry in we can put that one when we'll have one here they may be connected with this carry in so what will happen whenever we are providing one here this carry in will be fed by one so in addition with a's and b's one extra one will be added eventually we'll get the subtracted value which will be available here now whenever we are using the same circuit as adder we need to provide zero here and when we provide zero here c in of the least significant bit we know that is always zero so that will not hamper our normal operation of four bit parallel adder so this same circuit can be used as four bit parallel adder and four bit subtractor